Welcome to Bessie the Floss Boss's story on Fire Nation, and this is Project Zomboid. Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to another fantastic day with our gal, Bessie the Boss Boss. Currently at 10 months, 18 days, 7 hours, uh, 77 weight, and 18,096 Bambinos dispatched. Our weight's gone down a little bit, so I'm just going to snack away. There's plenty of food in our surrounding area. There's like two or three markets that we've found a ton of food in, so might as well just be packing it on at the moment. So in the last video, when I came home to this place, I had a zombie inside of this main area, and I have no idea how they got in there. So let's go take a look at the perimeter and make sure that nothing is out of place. We've got some nails with us. Um, in fact, let me go up here. I've got a few planks down there. Well, there's some more right here that are basically doing nothing. Let's get these unbarricade. Also get a little bit more light in here during the day. Unbarricade. Alright. Ooh, there's some more. Yeah, two more right here. Awesome. We'll take those. And we can better utilize them somewhere else. <clears throat> I have no idea how that zombie managed to get in here. Whether they were already in here, or they spawned in here, which is highly doubtful because I have respawns turned off, or they fell through the roof. But I don't know how they would have been on the roof. Where is my hammer? It's in my hand. <laughs> God. Alright, barricade planks. Put another one on there. Yeah, two, why not? I know that one was getting beat on for a while. Let's go around to all the one plank barricades and put a couple on them. Got two more planks here. Uh, let's grab those. Bada bing, bada boom. You've got two or three. You got two, you've got two, you've got two. Yeah, it was that zombie right there. I have no idea how she managed to get in here. This is the... A few moments later. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess those boards are just for show. That's interesting. Let's uh put a wall here. I have to break it out. I've got my sledgy. I could just take um, a window frame from upstairs and put it down here, but meh. I'll just build a wall. Maybe those planks will do something when I put a uh, proper wall up. I have no idea. But this is what we're doing. And we'll probably be out of wood after this. But, at least I identified a problem. Now I know. To look for more of those. Was that a cow farting? Or a zombie? <laughs> yeah, so we can't trust all pre-existing barriers. That's nice to know. Let's hop in here. Go check the other side. That may b have been the last one. But I don't know. It is. Okay, cool. Does that not have anything on it? No, there's some... St okay, there's two planks on the outside. Good. And we used up all of our planks. Let's put you away. The vitamins, yeah, we'll keep them in our... Man, alright, we got cigarettes, good. Let's see about getting a bed again. We really need a bed. <clears throat> it's taking a toll on our ability to fight not having one to sleep on. And also, we're going to be staying here. I need to clear this place out. Gotta be safe. Good. Some of the corpses are despawning now. Finally. I gotta say, this building right here has been one hell of a nest. I would love to just jump in here and grab that bed real quick. However, every single time I come over here... Yeah. They start raining down on me. And they're aggroed from this side, too. The last thing I want is to hop in there and get trapped in the building. 
God, man. Well, at least this is good weapon training. Ooh. And a hiking bag. I've been wanting to get my weapon skills up. I almost yelled. I almost did, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> nah. Every time I think that's the end of the zombies out of this place, it's not. There could be a billion in here. Let's attach one to our back, too. All right. Oh, yeah. We're starting to become a machine with these spears, and I love it. God, they're everywhere, bro. Get out of here, you dang dirty zombies. Woo, that was close. Okay. Just let me get the bed. That's all I want. Don't see any more on this side, except her. Couple following me. Gonna take you, take you out. Ooh, this place has got wood floors. I could take planks for days in there. So far, the best thing to disassemble for planks are the floors, in my opinion. Because furniture barely gives crap. Okay. Gotta be quick. Oh, it's a double bed. Yeah, I can't pick it up. Man, I thought it was a single bed. They're all double beds in there, I bet. And they're clipped through something to make them look like single beds. What a waste of time. Are those stairs going up right there? Straight from the window? They are. That's odd. Okay. Uh, those are big, big old buildings over there, too. Can I? I bet I can just build a bed, can't I? Maybe. No, maybe not. Wardrobes, bookshelves. Decoration, vegetation, furniture, containers. No, it wouldn't be in there. Roadwork, stairs, floor, fencing. Okay, maybe not. Fair enough. Alright, where else am I going to get a bed? It's just, it's just non-stop over here, man. There's not really any houses over here either. Like, just a normal house. Ooh. Let's take out these ones behind us first. Oh my god. We're an animal. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I want to say I hit, tried to hit the zombie behind him, but it was already dead. I don't know what happened there. The weapon teleporting crap. Let's check. He might not have got me. Yeah, I think we got off lucky. Okay. Jeez, that was scary. I think I was far enough away he didn't get me. 
I would be so salty to have a run in like that that's this long. I'd be a salt factory. I'd be spitting some hot chips, that's for sure. I want to see what this place is. Down in here. So far, it looks like a death trap. Whoa. That's like a whole complex in there. Jeez. I feel like when I've come into Raven Creek on foot, this is where I leave. Like the, the outside area, the fenced out area. Oh boy. This is how I've always gotten in right here, but it looks a bit different. Usually there's like a bunch of blood and stuff on the ground in this area. I think this leads over to the main road that goes down into Rosewood. I think. I've never had a chance to explore this area because it's always just running from a billion zombies. And I don't know if you ever... I don't know if there's spawn points over here. There might not be. One thing's for sure. We got a lot to check out. Including the SWAT bag. Where was it? Uh, it's a police bag. 22 and 90. I'm surprised I haven't found another Rick Grimes uh, sheriff bag. I only found one of those on Greta. On a live stream run. Pretty rare item, I suppose. What is this place? Just like a security check-in or something, maybe? Take a peek around this corner. Oh, 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 there's zombies out in the forest, isn't there? I just saw one come in from this side. Yeah, you. Oh, there's two. God, this place is deadly. And they're coming down the stairs. I do not like it here one bit. Wow. We're in the heart of Raven Creek right here. Is this like the SWAT police headquarters? I knew that was gonna happen. They're coming from out there. Okay. That is very dangerous. Easy does it. I don't want to get trapped in here. Oh yeah, this is all fenced off. I'm sure that says entering Raven Creek or something to that effect. It is the main road. 
Yeah, we found it. This is the out to Rosewood. Awesome. Ten months in exploring the creek, we found it. I wonder if they have any beds in here. They might in these guard posts. Ooh. There's a hillbilly, hillbilly truck there. I think these two zombies are stuck. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you're not stuck. Get out of here. Yeah, just a bunch of sledging and metalworking and we can get out through there. Let's check out one of these guard towers. I can hear a zombie somewhere, but I'm not sure where they're at. Radio. Ooh, some wood glue. Take that. It might be above me in here. Oh, I see the stairs are on the outside. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Wee bit glitchy here. Uh, there's two fences there. Central command. Okay. What's up top? Ah. The bookcases. Of course it's locked. Trapping five. Hmm. No electrical five? Some fancy fancy chairs. Okay. No beds. That might be what this place is, is like the barracks. Something to that effect. Zombies over there again. Okay. Let's get out of this little death trap that we've made our way into. I really gotta see a man about a horse. But I am committed. <laughs> I want to know what this sign says. Can I pick this up? No. No. Also, is that the warehouse? Where are we? No, that's an apartment building. The warehouse we found is over here. Yeah. Let's actually mark that in blue. Okay. I haven't been over here on this side in a long time. I kind of just want to peek down through here. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is cool. That is it. That is definitely it. That goes down to Rosewood. Alright. Curiosity satisfied. And now we have our end objective. Let's mark this. Like that. And then right there. Then we'll add a note right here. Um, escape. We'll put an exclamation point right there. There's our end objective. Nice. That's kind of what it's like to, if you were spawned in Raven Creek, they set up all these checkpoints and walled everything off. You would be forced to escape this place if you wanted to survive. That's pretty cool. Let's see about getting in here. I can hear a zombie somewhere. I don't know if they're out there or in here. Where are you? Really no way of knowing. If I can't readily see him. Okay, there's one below this staircase. 
And there's one right there. There's no cod up here or anything. Okay, maybe they were both up here, but ooh, more ammo. MP5s. Oh, another HK MP5. Hell yeah. Police riot shield. So there is some good stuff here. I was kind of hoping for a cot. Sad to say, no luck though. Ooh, meat cleaver. Let's eat this maple syrup too. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite area in Raven Creek. I love this spot. Mac and cheese and some chips. Hell yeah. Anything in these desks? Any special Easter eggs or anything like that? No. We got a zombie coming in. All right. Mosey on out of here. Take care of old mate here. I see you guys. Well, there's a hole in the fence there. Okay. So behind this food market, there's another big building. It looks like an apartment place. It's marked in orange. It's kind of outside the fence line. Well, that was a fun bit of exploration into there. I liked that. Okay. We're still no closer to getting a damn bed, though. Go down here a little bit. Maybe in one of these buildings. That guy had a splitting axe stuck in his shoulder. Oh. Dang. Dang. Go down. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Uh, Zippy Mart. That looks like a commercial building. I doubt it would have any beds. I see some fold-out chairs in there. There's got to be just like... Oh, the book naked above... That's right. There's probably a place uh, like a... Living space up top of there. We might oop, be able to snag a bed from there. There's the tiredness, Moodle. Worst possible time. Hit your knife. Thank you. Okay. Um, attach this to back. Crafted spear, you can go in here. We'll equip this one in both hands. Awesome. Oh. Dang it. I don't want to aggro more from that way. There's probably a dozen or so Zeds just inside of that gate. I want to see if there's a bed in here. Where would the staircase be? Ah. Nope. It in here? Ooh. A lot of doors to get it back through here. Oh, and there's two places. Or is it just one big... This is cool. Little hidey hole. Yeah, it is two places. No bed in this side. Unless there's like a sneak -a door in the middle here. It's a big bed. Dang it. Okay. I'm not going to be able to carry all the parts of this. Even with the loot that with the loot that I have, I'm not going to be able to carry any of this. Ah. <sighs> well, we got all four pieces. 
I'm really surprised. Can I not make my own bed? Oh, I have to do it from here, don't I? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Bed. I can! Plank and a mattress. How do you get a mattress? You have to pick a mattress up off the ground. That's why it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Let's see if we can at least grab two of these. No. The primary. Oh boy, we're gonna be slow. Maybe we can... Um... Let's equip this primary. Maybe this can go secondary. Okay, it's gonna have to work. And then we'll mark this as a uh, two bed pieces. Turn that down a little bit. Bed part times two. I like struggling just to get the essentials like this. Really fun. Uh, we can go out through here too. Alright, let's get back to base. We found the exit. We have an escape route plan. Awesome. Oh, what do we take out though? Like the, do we take the Humvee out and then come back on foot to get our, our general hillbilly with all our loot? Like, I don't even know. Or do we just, like, fill up the Humvee and, uh, a trailer and take that out? And then come back when we need stuff. It's gonna be hard decisions. I've got so much loot at the base, too. It'd be like six trips with the general hillbilly. At least. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go up the sheet rope. Make it easy. Not seeing any zombies over here. Thankfully, you can still climb these with however much weight you've got on you. Is that zombie following me? Dang it. Okay. Drop this. And drop this. Go down there and take care of her. Otherwise, she's just going to break her way in overnight. Stupid crap is zombies. Where'd you go? Probably on this window. Yep. I saw <laughs> yeah, I saw you. Get the hell out of here. Take that hunting knife from you. Awesome. Nothing else following me? Alright. Yeah, let's get up and out of here. Tomorrow, we'll go get the rest of our bed. Hurry up. Grab that. Grab you. Bring these upstairs. And then we'll have a proper night's rest. Tomorrow night, finally. Okay, that way's blocked off. Hell yeah. That was a good score too with that MP5. I love these things. They're awesome. And it came with full ammo. Nice. And then we got uh, a couple boxes of 9mm the day before. Or maybe uh, earlier on when we hit that ready prep. So we've got quite a few of them. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You're one click away from joining the Fire Nation Army and together. We will rule the apocalypse of Knox County. Right now, it's Bessie Foss's time to shine at 10 months, 18 days, 20 hours, 18,204 
Bambinos dispatched from this plane of existence. Here's a look at our skills. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful people, and I will catch you in the next one. Keep it scrappy. Brappy.